We're here at the OBS April sale. There's a lot of cruisers on offer. We look at a lot of horses and um, a friend of mine, a client, Adam Korndorf, who owns Blue Haven Farm, had bred a Catalina Cruiser Colt at a Wild Ridge. And I'd seen him on the farm. He's nice. He, he realized a pretty decent sum. I think he was a $90,000 yearling. And I just kind of missed him because it happens. Um, so when I was down at April, she told me, man, I got this Catalina Cruiser. You're going to love him. We go into the sale with him. And he breezed a few times while I was there, and I was like, damn, I made a mistake here to buy this horse as a yearling. He's going to cost me more here. So he'd be a horse I'd be excited about that's coming up through the ranks. Um, that'll be at the April sale. And if he performs like he has on the farm, uh, I think he'll be another horse that'll carry the banner and sell well. What I really like about Catalina Cruiser, he's a dominant horse. You can look at a Catalina Cruiser, and now that you've seen enough of them, you can say that's a Catalina Cruiser. Good stallions do that, in my experience. And I, and I just love it that he's taking his genetic material and just, boom, pressing it on the offspring. There's some of them that'll throw back a little bit to that Union Rags look, which it doesn't bother me because I think Union Rags is an underappreciated sire. The Catalina Cruiser is one of those sires that as a racehorse, he could go short, he could go long. My most disappointing day at the racetrack was the day he did not win the Breeders' Cup mile. Um, fortunately for us, it was City of Light who won, so it, it backwards ended up working out. But he's a horse that I think is going to sire runners that can do it all. I think short, long. He's a speed influence, but he had stamina. He could carry it a route of ground. And, you know, he did not win a grade one, but I don't really feel like it was his fault. It was kind of the way the schedule lined out. I think it's super impressive when a horse takes his speed on the road and goes someplace like Belmont, which is a tricky track if you don't know it, and sets a stakes record in a very important race like the True North. So we're, you know, as part of our Lane's End formula and, and the clients that I work with, when we put a sire to stud, we support them. So whether it's buying weanlings, yearlings, two-year-olds, breeding mares, um, and Catalina Cruiser is no exception. Um, we bought three yearlings by them, and so far we've bought two two-year-olds by them. Um, we bought an RNA for the Heronises out of the first sale, and um, my wife bought one for West Point out of the March sale that we like quite a bit. And we tried on some others and, and got outbid. Our plan is to try to buy a few more. You know, Lane's End needs to get a nice one. And so a few more of our team, if you will, that helps make these sires at Lane's End, we're, we'll try to buy a few more here if, if they can be bought.